Right, onto his outfit. Before I go into each detail, just give you another little scan up him. Talk you through the pose on the way back down. Just got him looking straight ahead. Got to foot up there because I want him dip forward. Yeah, collar up. Nice trench coat on that. Fucking covering his arsenal up. I'll show you that in a minute. Just going down. Just got his machine gun in one hand. Shotgun in other. Maybe some kind of surrender pose. Just about to chuck his weapons down and gear up. Or so they think. That shit's not happening. I'm going to do a um, scan round. Firstly, the uh, level up trench coat. Fucking really nice one. It's not as weathered as I would have expected. It feels a little bit like the new Batman cape. Like a, a soft pleather kind of thing. But it, uh, because it's quite soft, it does look good for the scale. It fits in really well. The stitching's awesome on it. I like got the concealed buttonholes there. If you can see, let me just flat that back. Just bastard, hard left-handed. In there, look. It's double layered there. Like I said, really nice embroidery on it. It is wide at the bottom, which is good because you can pose it, which I like. I stand the collar up. It's not supposed to be, but I just think it looks moodier. I've got satin underneath the collar. So, all these sections, all these detail and that. You could probably hook things onto these, his knife or something else, but I haven't. I'm always careful when I'm reviewing for someone else because I don't want to don't want to be too extreme with figure because uh, if I decide to send the figure back, I don't want to fuck it up for somebody else. I just never do that. You see, it's got a pleat in the back, really nicely done. The working pockets, like I showed at the beginning. Let's get some light in. See down there, his hand will tuck in there. He could put something inside his pocket. So, yep, yeah, really nice coat. Uh, I would always pose it with a coat on because it's sort of his character sort of thing. It's the flowing coat. It's kind of like Blade in his flowing coat. I know Blade sometimes wears just a bomber jacket, but it just gives him that uh, air of cynicism sort of thing. The t shirt, obviously, the iconic symbol. It is a t-shirt as well. There's parts of films where it kind of turns into a tank top kind of thing. And if this had a muscle body, I would be tempted to do that myself. Um, but yeah, it's like painted onto the, uh, or transferred on. I don't know. It's pretty much like a t-shirt you would buy yourself. It's really good, really good effect, really good quality. Moving down, the combat style belt, which you can open and close quite easily as well. Uh, not like the fucking fiddly Barney Ross outfit where you have to fuck about for three days before you get it looking right. Uh, combat style trousers. And then down to the boots. Uh, the boots. Gotta say, there's not many things I don't like about this figure, but the boots is one of them. Couple of reasons. It probably is movie accurate, I don't remember. But why ever somebody would wear a brown boot with an all black outfit, I don't know. The work on the boot is good. Let me just try and bring you up. I can't pull it up. Really nice sculpt and that on the boot and the weathering looks pretty good. But I just think the kind of, I don't know if it's a brown or ox blood or what it is, but just don't go with costume for me. I don't know why it's, should have just put a black military boot on, which is, if I were to keep this figure, that'd be the first thing I'd order. i get some uh, ACI lace-up black boots. I'd tuck bottom of his trow in, and I'll have him like that. It wouldn't be screen accurate, but I think it'd look a lot better. The other thing I don't like about the boot is it's fucking rock hard, so you can't pose the ankle at all. It, I don't even think it rotates. When you try to rotate the leg, it sort of rotates somewhere near the knee. So the boots, could have done with some work. Like I said, they probably are screen accurate, I don't know, but they're just not for me at all. Another thing with the boot, regardless how you position his leg, his foot never seems to be fucking flat at floor. Look, it's like he stood on his instep, which is ridiculous. He, he can't get his boot flat down. Just really, really don't like the boot at all. So yeah, that's one of nitpicks with his figure. Right, now, going under his coat, he has, just pull it away. The shoulder holster, which fits his gun nicely, goes in and out really smoothly. 
respect to it for that because you don't want fiddly holsters where you think you're going to put your gun in and it's going to fucking snap off. You just don't want that. Uh, it's not leather. It's like a pleather material, but it is uh, good quality feeling. So yeah, one of his angles goes in there. The other side of the shoulder holster has two clips in it. Again, in and out really easy, and it's a really good effect. One other thing I will say as well, if you position the coat right, it doesn't look too bulky, even though he's got that underneath. So pretty much like the blitz way uh, with a Scarface suit doesn't look too bulky when it's got the holster underneath. Moving down off the belt, it's got another holster attached. You can see the guns inside it. And it's a, a series of these um, clips. They work really well. Don't feel like you're gonna break them. And it wraps two, uh, twice around the uh, leg to hold it in place. Again, really nice holster. That one's a hard plastic, that one. Um, so yeah, much love for costume. Like I said, if I were to keep this figure, or anybody who gets this figure, I would strongly advise, fuck the boots off sharpish, because they don't look that good, or I don't think so, and they're not functional at all. So, but other than that, it's fucking awesome. Um, like I said, the t-shirt is a t-shirt, so it comes like halfway down his arm. Uh, I would turn that into a tank top if it had got a muscle body, which it hasn't. So on the outfit, again, other than the boots, I'd get it a 5 out of 5. The coat is better than Blade's coat, I would say, which is strong praise indeed sort of thing. But the boots knocks it off because I dislike them that much. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. All right, brothers, rolling on to articulation. And this is a surprisingly good category for this... Uh, for this figure for one or two reasons uh, obviously a bad category for a reason I've already explained the boots now I'm gonna scroll down him tell you what's happening as you can see he's holding the grenade he's just about to put it into the uh, underside grenade launcher on his machine gun stood pretty much side arm bit of posing going through his jacket and again down to his disappointing boots like I said, the shit articulation on his ankle joints is, I'm sure it's just down to boot. I'm sure there is some posability in there, but like I said, the boot just does me fucking head in. But uh, sorry for swearing, Lee. Uh, so looking at it from this angle, again, that foot won't plant, but moving up, you can now see his pistol. His coat swaying around behind him. His gun in hand. And he's got the uh, the chamber open or the barrel open, ready for his uh, grenade to go in. So a nice pose, loving that pose. What I will say is the articulation, the neck's pretty good, although it could tip forward a tiny bit more. So he's looking pretty much straight down. I would like that a lot. And again, if I own that figure, it's not too hard to do. Just pull the head off and sort of bore the neck all out a little bit at front and it will tip forward. I did that with my uh, Yip Man figure. So that's what I would do on that. The arms move smoothly, but are strong. And I mean, they will hold a gun. They will stay in position. They don't flop around, yet there's no ratchet to them. They, they move as well as a true type, which is high praise indeed. Uh, oh, just look at that, brothers. It's fucking action packed for you. You know it. Can't follow that. His hands as well, as I've got them, I've messed with his hands. I'm going to explain his hands in detail in a bit. I've messed about with him. Just got him holding everything real nice. So I'm going to mention his hands, like I say, in a minute. Like I say, arms really good. Articulation through the body. Sort of a ab crunch body. Pretty much like a true type. I can't describe it any other way. Moves a little bit smoother. Um, neck's not quite as good as a true type. The legs are nice, they move well at the hip, at the knee, there's rotation through the knee joint, and I think it is a double knee, I'm pretty sure it is, I've not had it in a really extreme pose, like I've said, I never do when it's somebody else's figure, but again, the ankles are fucked because of the boots, so, um, the articulation, I would mark it down because of the ankles, and I would mark it down again because the neck doesn't dip far enough forward, but these fucking awesome hands that you get on this figure, brings the score back up. Now, I might put a little pause in here and show you the detail on the hand and how well they move. And also tell you a little problem, but uh, I love that pose on. 
I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a pause in, I'm gonna take this hand off, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So stick with Clipper King. Let me show you that fucking pose, brothers. You've gotta love that, because I do. If I were to keep that figure, it wouldn't be too far off that pose I'd use. Oof. Let me get that hand off and move on. Right, brothers, I've got the hand off. I've got it flattened out. Firstly, look at the detail on that bad boy. Look at it, veins, really nice, knuckles, fingernails. Now, when I knew this has got articulated hands, I was thinking it's gonna come with the worst kind of fucking Ken and Barbie hands you've ever seen. But when I saw them, I thought, fucking hell, they look good. And there's no reason why every figure from Art Toys, Art Figures, Enter Bay, Blitzway, whoever else you wanna name, can't give you a set of articulated hands. They're obviously not expensive to do, Obviously you get the holes inside because the rubber's got to move somewhere. But once you put something inside them hands, it's a fucking awesome piece of work. Again, detail on the inside of the hands. Now, I'm thinking, well, they will, but they'll be too spongy. They're not old now. Just watch this. Down, down. Down, stays down. Down, stays down. Beautiful. Same with the thumb. We'll move. What can it do? We'll hold the gun, obviously. We'll hold the knife that comes with it, I'll show you. The, what won't it do, more to point? It won't make an accurate fist. And I'm gonna tell you why that pisses me off when I get to the extras. I'm pushing that as much as I can and it won't go much tighter than that. Now, any form of like a relaxed hand, it will do. You can put a little kink in at each knuckle. I can't do it one-handed. If I got my right hand free, I could show you better. But it will move around and it will hold, it don't flop about, it's fucking awesome really. But like I say, a tight, some kind of tight look, a really tight fist, it's not going to do it. But anyway, so, scoring the articulation, it's got articulated hands, yeah. Bad articulation on the ankles, a little bit restricted on the neck, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Again, I want to give I want to give him Fives, <clears throat> but there's just some. There's always some at stopping me on every category. I mean, I've wrote out the scores as it is, and to be honest, I'm gonna tell you now, it don't get top scores on any, which pisses me off because all in all, I'm fucking loving this figure. I don't know if it's the novelty or what I've got planned for it or what it is, but really liking it. So anyway, that's the end. I'm gonna get him reposed and I'll move on to the next category for you. He's not putting a grenade in nowhere now, is he? With his fucking hand missing. 